four of us, and we were, everyone, they were like, skinny dipping? Like, yeah, so we took a bit first, and they were like, oh no. And then me and Joe, they're like, we're just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not to worry. Anyway. <laughs> Welcome back to Waffling, and this time we are reporting live from Ibiza. Hola, como estas, mi compañero? Estamos aquí para salir de fiesta siempre. Sí, estoy con Teddy Baker, <laughs> Lukey Martin, and Joey Weller. Obviously, we can't ditch you guys. We've had to bring the set to Ibiza, yes. but we still want to make it happen, bring the vibrations, and have a good time. So, if you are our best friends, please leave a like rating. If you're watching on YouTube right now, you can tweet us, Instagram, DM us at Waffling Podcast. And uh, yeah, to get your questions in or email askjoefeo at gmail.com. And the tagline of this is girlfriend twerking on other guys. Okay? Ooh. Yeah, no, this is actually quite an interesting one. Okay. And it goes, hey lads, love the podcast. The other day at a party, my girlfriend was extremely drunk. She was being very overly friendly and overly touchy and uh, with all the other lads there, especially a lad she used to have a thing with. Oh. Okay, okay, you know where this is going, but hear me out, Wafflers, because this is getting tasty. I didn't want to say anything because I just assumed that was me being insecure. Now, we've all been in this situation where it's like, oh, I don't want to make it look like I'm triggered or like I'm you know, insecure and all this stuff, so I'm not going to say anything. However, listen to this. Later on in the night, my girlfriend and the guy she used to have a thing with were like kind of slow dancing. And then, uh, she, okay. and then she started twerking on him. Um, wait, wait. Obviously that hurt to see because I'm kind of in love. I tried to call people to pick me up, but then she ended up passing out drunk and I had to take care of her. So is it just a drunken mistake? Mate, no. Drunken, or is this like he should be going, look, I deserve fucking respect here. My emotions are on the line, so are yours, and we need to respect that with one another. This guy, I, I get the point of you don't want to say anything, you don't want to look like a jealous idiot because you trust yeah. your girlfriend, but also at the same time, it sounds like it went a little bit too far, and it gets to a point where maybe you actually should probably say something and be like, I'm not comfortable with that. I just think here, yeah, like, there's got to be a, a certain level of like values. Like, when you need to, you know, being transparent with each other, saying, look, like, treat me how you want to be treated. And on a level, is there anyone that would really like want Mate. their partner to be sexually dancing on another individual unless you're into that? And not only was it another individual, it's an ex-partner. Yeah, mate, that's fucked. Is an ex no, this is, I think that's actually quite bad. And yeah. I, I think like we, we talk about him not wanting to sound like a jealous idiot. There is different levels to this. Like, if she was just dancing with someone, like that's not really that's the end of the yeah, world. Yeah, of course. Like, then you're, just, fun. you're just dancing. Yeah. But like... Twerking, like, how would she feel if she, like, turned yeah. around and he had some girl, like, twerking on him? Mm. Yeah. She would hate it. Exactly. Be human. Exactly. But, like, what about the Ice Cube game? Space, when, yeah. When you playing that last night? Was basically, yeah, we're playing that. I swear you make up rules for these games. No, 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 no. I didn't start it. They started it. Oh. No, 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 no. It came up in Piccolo. Oh. But, like... Me? Oh. If a, girl, if a girl's, you know, in a relationship, should they be playing the Ice Cube game where they pass the Ice Cube to another person... Probably not. Because like, lips touch. Yeah, cause you see this, like, all this shit in Love Island, for example, right? But Where they, yeah. they were like, yeah, but it, it was just for the game. I was like, yeah, so? But, yeah, but like, in Love Island, that, they are all single. No, no, but, like, when they have, like, oh. when they are, like, partnered up and whatever, like, it just makes me think, like, yeah, but, like, surely you just don't participate. Like, I always join in the games, if you boys yeah. are playing, yeah. but I never do anything. No, you wouldn't. Like, you can still participate, have fun without yeah, 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 having course, to cross course. the line. Yeah. I, think, I think a lot of men and women, to be fair, when they go on a holiday, getting out and going drunk and, like, flirting with people, they may realise, oh, I don't actually like my other half as much as I thought I did. No, you see, I think it's they're, they're just on holiday and they're like, this is a vibe. I think they think holiday is a, is a place where you can have these little romances. Flirts. Yeah, and they think, well, it, you know, it's, it's harmless. But, like, it's I guess if they saw it happening, it wouldn't be harmless. I was talking to my mate about this the other day. He was on holiday and, like, he was flirting with someone. He was like, oh, it's nice to know that I can, like, not still do it. It was nice that I'm still wanted by other people, if that makes sense. So yeah. he didn't pursue it, but it was quite mm. nice to no, of have course, a flirt. Of course, to know that, like, you know, we all want to be accepted, wanted, desired, sought after, but, like, you know, it makes you feel good. Yeah. That, that concept, I mean, there's a line between pursuing it and taking action on that. Mm. Like, that, there's something gets released. I, th I think it's a dopamine hit. Like, it's the same thing of 
when we like getting likes on Instagram, it gives you, it activates the reward center. Mm. So it doesn't mean you want to like, you know, you could go toxic with that, for example, and do everything for the gram like some people do, or you can go, oh, yeah, I, I recognize that, but I'm not going to now allow this to take over my life. Some people with cheating, for example, they, they get that feeling of, oh, like, I'm desired, yeah. or, you know, that person, you know, I'm vibing with them. And maybe the reason why they are such, you know, they get with loads of people is because they, they need that confidence boost. They need that reward center flare up. Yeah. Oh my God, is that what? Are you talking about you? <laughs> Wait. Did you just have a therapy session? Just said? <laughs> so it's, no. No, because basically I was watching this little, uh, no, it, was, it, was like, it was like a talk by a, a, an awareness coach by yourself. And uh, it was about how sex like, is a form of intimacy, but not like, like just doing the action, just doing it. Like to, oh, it's something about like distracting ourselves from like the real, mm. I don't know, it's, oh, I, don't, I can't, I can't no. remember fully, but basically there's something, I don't know. You're almost there. I'm almost there. I've on the had about, about a week of fucking smashing <laughs> yeah. it. So, Look, yes. Because you are very much like, I am seeing this holiday, you're very much obsessed with getting girls, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> no. <coughs> no? I'm not obsessed. What do you mean? We that go to a party and we have a good time. But that just, is your goal at the end of the just day. Just because I end up speaking to individuals doesn't mean I'm obsessed. And my goal is to have a good time. So, have you had a good time this holiday? I've had a great time. What was your favourite night? Favourite night, I'd say the Nathan Door night, I be for Rocks. Last night? Last night when... Um, when I turned up. Yeah, 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 Lou turned up. I was really, like, I got quite excited. Like, show Tom, up. get some of the photos up and whatnot, or videos. We, like, it was like a proper movie, and I think after, you know, the time that we've had where, you know, we haven't been able to do things like this, coming out doing that, mm. obviously there was moments, obviously, like, when, like, Wonder Woman and whatnot comes on, where it's just us boys, and we're like, do you know what I mean? It's just good vibes like yeah, that. Obviously, really fun. You know, chatting to people and whatnot, meeting whoever, this, that, and the other, dancing and everything. Is, yeah, it's just quality. I love it. And we've had a sick time. We've had a sick week. And it's, it's you know, it's one of the moments as well, like even just coming out here to do, like, this is our job technically. Mm, we're but just, it's just staring at the sea. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, this, the sea's out here. It's like, you got to appreciate you know, how far we've come as, as the boys as, as well. I mean, yeah. yesterday, even though I fell over. Oh, you broke your coccyx. I think I have broken my I mean, coccyx. This is the yeah. funniest thing. Go on then. Like, just, no, no, just watching you. Like, there was a big ledge, probably like, what, two foot? Three foot. Is it, yeah, about two. And like Theo just stepped back and just hit the floor. So he could only walk now whilst hold, holding on to his ass. <laughs> just so just like looks like he's grabbing his own ass <laughs> and just like looking around. Wait, I can we can overlay the video. Oh like yeah, get a video morning. up. But yeah, so you've had injuries and all that. Oh yeah. By the way, we also got kicked out of our hotel this morning. Oh god. For oh. like, apparently you're not allowed to laugh and have a good time. No, we, we, we were being respectful, but... Okay, take it back to the beginning. No, 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 it, no, no, this, no. Is, this is over a, no, a week-long no. period that this Monday, has been brewing. Monday was bad. Okay, Monday was bad, but we... You, you, you basically had an, an after No, we didn't have a party. I oh. didn't. I wasn't there. I left. No. I went to my room. But basically, the bottom line is, yeah, we've been kicked out of our hotel, um, and we'll just it, stop it at that. It came about in such a joke's way, though, because, like, <laughs> your room key just didn't work. Yeah, they didn't tell me or tell Passively, us. Passively, aggressively. They just, they just barred the, the room key. Now, have you guys, like, obviously, it was like in football, you know, when you get a, a yellow card and you try and argue with the ref, he's made his decision. They had made their decision. No, they had you. Yeah. And, that, and it was like... You were arguing. Yeah, you were going for it. I had to, of course. But it was just like, the, the, it was, the deal was done. The deal was done. And, and any, any of you guys, have you ever been kicked out of hotels? Because I've never been. It's, it's really difficult because you want to continue the party. You want to keep everything going. Yeah. But even talking at this volume right now, it you must be, that, you, you know, you can't. You, it's like everyone, we're in Ibiza. It's like that balance of like, we no, I'm not being funny. We've got a noise complaint in Ibiza. In it. And but, I'm, not, I'm, I'm also not being funny. Last night, you boys came back to the room that I was sleeping in. And like that, that was the noise complaint. I literally woke up like once. Yeah. So like, Mate, I don't know how you're waiting. Yeah, he, he was in, in the room. room and all, we, genuinely, all we would do was laughing for like two hours. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, like, out here, like, moments like that, I've never had a funnier night than last so night. So funny. So funny, the, you know, the drinking games, all of it, like... I was dying was hilarious. Laughing. It was actually really good. And obviously, like, that was, mate, that's like our first proper... Well, this is like our first proper nights out together since you've been single. Yeah, yeah. Where we've both been single. It was actually really fun. Mate, it was jokes. We have a good time. No, but no we actually do. And... Like, I've been saying this as well. Obviously, he says that he plays, like, you know, is it ABBA and Robbie Williams, that sort of music. He's got <laughs> tunes. If you were a DJ, bruv, if you actually learned to, to do the decks, 
You you got the ear you, for what's good. You were saying this the other night. I mean, I keep keep Shazam in your tracks. What can I say? No, I'm always a resident DJ at all my parties. Yeah, I do love it. I'm a very musical man. That's why. Yeah, I just don't know how to do the actual decks. Yeah, no, it's pressing buttons. Like honestly, <laughs> but that's been a buttons. sick thing as well. Like I've been uh, ending up DJing round random Actually, clubs mate. and after parties. Now you lot, we have a message from Beer Fifty Two, who are giving away eight. Free beers Unreal. to you guys for free. All you got to do is pay the five ninety five postage. Go to beer fifty two dot com slash waffling to claim yours. There's one hundred and seventy active members already. You get a magazine. One hundred seventy. One hundred seventy thousand active men. Few more than one hundred seventy. Yeah, oh, I'm smashing as well. <laughs> and I absolutely love them. I'm one of, course, of my favorite members. What makes them so different to other beers? They're just unique and different. Like yeah. you, you can't really buy them in the UK. Yeah, you, you, you can't. can't. You can't cop those beers in the shop. No. And what is good is they send like it's like a different country of origin each mm. week. Yeah. So not only that as well, you obviously get the magazine and snack. I, I do. Munching, drinking, enjoying your life. Hey, and the, so the snacks are always like pretty random as well. I got yeah. I got like like fried peas. Ooh. Yeah, something like that. It was weird. Mate, I tell were, you, this is like nice. perfect for uni. Imagine. Like going to freshers, you can pause and cancel at any time as well. And if like a bunch of you do it, like five, ten of you all claim this, you're sorted out. Your night is sorted. And Big it's just time. on the boys. Yeah. Five ninety five postage. Get it in. Beer fifty two dot com slash waffling. Free case of eight beers. On with the show. I was one one impressive thing Joe did do this week was I think it was Wednesday night. It was sort of a dead vibe, and me and Harry went home. Yeah. And this man stayed out by himself again. He does it. It wasn't it till like ten a.m. as well. Was no. It? <laughs> so I went to a villa party afterwards. But you, you left us and you stayed out all yeah. your ones. Well, I was just like, you know what? We're in Ibiza. I, I, I personally don't want to go home. I appreciate that you guys. You know, you're you're a bit ill. You needed a rest. I, I was so ill, but, but I true, true through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, well, I don't want the night to end. So yeah, started DJing with Ryan. I played a couple of tracks in Ibiza Rocks, and then went to an after villa party and just had it large. And we DJ them. It's mental. And it's like little moments like that. It's like fucking hell, this is sick. Making and it makes like when I eventually sign my record deal. <laughs> yeah, it's it's gonna meant to be this week. We're currently having conversations. But it means when we do perform like festivals next year and whatnot, it's gonna like it's just getting a taste for it already. Mm. It's nuts. Like it's sick. Looking forward to it. Yeah, man. Oh, what about me on nights out? Am I, am I good fun? Am I Yeah, no, it's been, it's been jokes. It's been jokes. Um what would, yeah. you, what would you rate him? No, good. I mean, back in the day, it was like you didn't know. You, you, I didn't know how to party. You, but you especially, you weren't about that life as much. Now, I don't know whether, whether it's, like, you know, the living in London or whatnot. <laughs> but like, you know, you know how to have a good time. I do know how to have a very good time. And you can connect with anyone. I think I could, I, I think I have good chat. Yeah, well, it's like, you know. <laughs> I think, I think I do. I think I can talk to uh, people. Yeah, I think, I think you've, levels. you've proved that you, you do. Yeah, you've Come evolved on. as in like, you know, as in. And that's what I'm saying, like, since, I know the breakup for you was very, very difficult, mm. but since then, mate, like, you, you've, you have just elevated. Flowered. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, that night out, like, that we had, like, last night, for example, everyone else goes home, it's me, you, and, you know, one else. Okay. But still, like. It's just, it's just me and you. Okay. But it's, like, us four. Yeah. And we just, like, sick vibes, constantly. It was like, constantly. Funny, yeah. And it's, like, all right, that's why we should go out when we go home. In London. In yeah. Shoreditch. No, yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's do, it. Let's do it. Right, but on the next level of questions. Wait, well, I don't know. Is is it an appropriate time to address? It won't what? be last episode, but the episode before. Oh, his jealousy! All, all the comments that we were getting. Shit, so I, I, you've just been praising Theo quite a lot there, by the way. Okay, so I think this sort of like hmm, counter rap. Wait, yeah, no, wait. So what? Because I I've been told by you boys. I saw the odd one where you know the top comments. But what are they saying? They're all saying. What, wait, wait, yeah, wait, wait. What are they saying? Pull them up. Have you got your phone on you? Come on. They are very much, you are now jealous of me. Jealous? Very jealous. Is this to do with the intervention? Yeah. Okay. Mm. You're jealous of... Um, Wait, did something stop recording? No, I don't think so. We're good, we're good. It did seem a bit, a bit weird, <laughs> like all the, the, the comments. Like Can we say This that? is the most commented episode of the new season by, really? by, by far. It's good, we got a reaction. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we got a reaction. Um, it, yeah, they're basically saying... Theo is actually happy and living his life. Yeah. He doesn't need this intervention. Um, they were saying you're jealous of <laughs> that, that I'm friends with all the YouTube lot, which so are you. So I think more than anything, regarding the YouTube lot thing, it's more of like when I was going to move to London, you were like, let's all go out. 
And we are. We just haven't, we just haven't gone out yet. I mean, yeah, but that's just classic time and thing. But yeah, but what else? Because you made out like it was like terrorizing. Oh, yeah. Oh no, that like because I looked Ooh. through it like the the day after, read the comments, and it was literally. Uh, it, it was, it, some it of them were a bit deep. Some was like. Uh, Joe's jealous of Theo's happiness. Yeah, yeah, it was shit like that. Joe sounding like, jealous out here. Let Theo well, do his thing, boys. Right now, I'm riddled with anxiety from like the, the week, worst. the nights out. But I mean, like overall, like moving to London, doing all of that. You know, it's been sick. Theo, man, don't worry. Joe and Luke are just jealous. You're living your life. Don't let them hold you back. I, this is the thing. Like when I was um, in lockdown, I was doing you know smashing part. No, no, no. Drinking loads yeah. and doing all of that, but I was having a good time. And obviously, like a lot of people were saying to me, similar sort of thing of like, "Oh, you're letting yourself go, this, that, and the other." But it's very it's easy from the time. outside to think that someone's off the rails. But for me personally, I've got my shit together so much. But also, like, it's all going well. Like, think about this legitimately. Like, yeah, why would we want to put our mate down? Yeah, like, you like, like genuinely, like. Why? What, but, but what, this, what incentive wait, is there for us to do that? At the same time, think, we went, look, Theo, mate, you're drinking a lot, this, that, this, that. Or is everything all right? Because, as I remember you said it on the pod, it's like when someone like breaks up and then you see them just always on a night out, there could be like, you know, it's, you want to check in. You want to you see wanna check if in. you're all right. So obviously that's what we did on one thing. And now we don't. But you're the, all right. The worst thing is, is like every time I say I'm all right, I was like, yeah. mm, "Of course you are, mate." It's and like, and naturally, oh, at, at the same time, right? We've we've got to make content. So like, if Joe was just like Theo, are you actually all right? And he was like, "Yeah," and we're like, oh, "Okay, next segment." Like, yeah, we've got an hour. <laughs> we've got an hour to fill in. So you're like, you know, we, we dig a little deeper because sometimes, if I, you know, people have asked me, "Oh, you're right, Joe," and I'm like, "Yeah, fine," but are you, you know, right? sometimes you're not. But you coming know, to Ibiza, how did you feel? Oh uh, well, I just come off the back of a night out. So did I. So we, yeah. So I was already going into a little bit hagging, but but at large, you did have a large. We've that's a, that's the only thing. Like with holidays like this, it's sick, but you have that obviously where you do the excessive drinking. It's like you said it. You almost want to go back now and like smash the gym yeah, and I health and all I of can't that. Wait to do get you know home I mean? and just go to a gym. Yeah, and do you know drink, what I mean? Drink green juices every day. Yeah, it's almost one of them where like. <laughs> It sounds so bad, but like you need a holiday after a holiday. Mate, in it, in it. Now it's like he has that. Yeah, yeah, we're now going like Tenerife. Yeah. Oh God, a surfing. That's one. gonna be yeah. That's gonna be funny. Dodgy, it's a surfing whatever. trip. Um. Well, I don't know how much of that we're gonna do, but it's meant to be. Yeah. Um. What about this one? Uh. So we saw this at a club. We okay. We were with them. Okay. No, we weren't. Sisters. Sucking each other's nipples. We saw we saw it happening in we, the corner. Is, of the uh, you know, there's yeah. the thing of like okay, girls kissing girls, and that you know. The, but sisters, we, I was like, fair, this is incest, is it? Yeah, but to be fair, we yes. didn't 100 percent know that they were sisters. Oh no, it was just we were told after, and, yeah. and it was like I just remember I thought I'd bring up a waffling because I was like, is that? Because remember we've, we've done a lot of things of you know people sending questions about like is this legal and things like that. <laughs> And it's like it is an interesting sisters one. that were getting off and so like, and, and were they getting off? Oh yeah, they did that as well. Is it part of a game? But it's just sort of like oh, I remember. Thinking, I mean, I was look, like, we don't know people's relationships with their own sisters or, or like twins. Yeah, like, I think that's common with twins. No, no, is no, 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 no. no. <laughs> You've watched too a... much porn. That's <laughs> why you think it's common. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't know about that one. I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, defend their side. Right. I'm trying to play devil's advocate. Like maybe they're just they're just comfy and in their world it's fine. It's yeah. not just normal. Oh, it is. Look, it's is is it is it normal as such? Where you know, like I wouldn't get off with my brother. Yeah, I think <laughs> no that's one said you no did. one said that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, would you kiss your sister? No, and that's what because I was like, I've got a sister, and it's like this is. Do you know what I mean? But maybe it's no different just because they're two girls. Like it no, would be not. the same yeah, as it's siblings. Like it's siblings. They were like, oh yeah, we see each other naked all the time. Oh. <laughs> Family members. Anyway, what are your thoughts on that? Let us know in the comments down below. Another thing, as you can see, we're stacked full of content. <laughs> this one, when you were younger, oh god, did you used to suck flannels, wet flannels, oh, all the time? I used to do it. <laughs> Someone said it in the club yesterday. Yeah, and I was like, did everyone else do that? Why is he shaking his head? You didn't. You know, like when, it's when, out, when it's no, you know, like to get the water out. Yeah, you it's know, like when you're in the bath. As a kid, and the flannel's wet, and then you like suck it, and it feels quality Wait, in your did mouth. Did you actually never do that? 
Like, not, not, I haven't got that in oh, my man, memory. I can remember the exact feeling of what that is like. Quality. Maybe I'll try it later. There's a flannel <laughs> over there. <laughs> this is what you signed up for, waffling. Yeah, Did you ever it. suck flannels as a kid? In it. Dodgy. Um, Maybe. Yeah, now, this, this was an, an interesting question that we actually got in. Okay, here we go. Um, so, premature ejaculation <laughs> is a thing, right? Uh, you know, coming quickly. Is so that what? Say, what? do you think about to stop <laughs> ejaculating too early? They, the, this is a question, and it's like everyone's got a different thing. <clears throat> what, I don't know what are your boys is. I mean, I, it's really, I, I don't. I just, I just stare at the wall. I just like try, try really hard, like staring at the wall. I don't think of anything, but I know I could and probably should think of something to stop me. But also then at the same time, I'm sort of just not going to do that. I don't care. Mm. I'll just be in the moment and be at one. Whereas you, I know what you think. Oh, of. What's your What's your touch? So basically, I just say and envisage like Mary Maryland cookies. Maryland cookies. Like, Maryland, like cookies, Maryland, cookies, Maryland, Maryland cookies, cookies. Maryland cookies. And I like just imagine the, the texture of them. So I imagine like I'm looking at one close up. That makes no sense because don't you love Maryland cookies? Yeah, but I'm not going to get a rod on over it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You got a rod on the pool earlier. Right. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, like basically, what do you lot do? I think like I I start to focus on my breathing. Really? Yeah, like, I try like take meditating. Deep, like, you, take deeper breaths. Do you still, like, concentrate on not coming early, even with your missus, after being together for so yeah, long? Well, like, it varies. Like, sometimes you're just fine, aren't you? Do you know what I mean? Like, it could happen with, with like, anyone, yeah. whether you slept with them once or a hundred times. Sometimes you can just go. Sometimes it's like, they're, they're on it, and then it's like, within a couple of seconds, you feel like, oh, fuck. Yeah. It's it, like, like, it yeah. literally varies, but... Yeah, for me, it's just like, right, deep breaths. Just, like, think about that. It can be really annoying for, like, the other the other half. Yeah, mate, imagine. But, but wait, this is the thing. The, I mean, I've heard, the, I mean, not a overly prolonged session sometimes is, is preferable. The better. I mean, sometimes. But something, actually, like, I want to ask you. So you still get the premature, like, early, even after being in a relationship for so long? Yeah, yeah. Like That's it, really, so, this, so what I was trying to say earlier about the intimacy thing... The reason why, uh, a reason why having sex with a girl eventually, like you might not get, a, I don't know, be able to come from it, or not, it might not do it for you anymore, is because that that's not truly just doing that motion over again. That that gets you used to that. Your brain gets used to that. The, just the physical like, genital sex. Oh, what? So you're I'm saying, saying you're, you must then you have. Like what's called sacred sex, no, they right? Which is, no, listen, yeah, which is far more intimate. It's like you're actually fully open to mm. one another, and it's far stronger than just the physical thing. Wait. And that that's, must be where why, yeah, for you, because I've always been like, how, how do you not after an amount of time just be like, oh, it's it's the same thing over and over? There's, and a, because there's a big difference between having sex and making love. Yeah, but making there, it is very deep true. Soul connected that. love. It is very true though. Yeah, but making love is way better. Yeah, no, I, I, I know, I know, well. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah, I, I guess what you're saying is essentially for a lot of couples, it literally becomes just the act of like, well, this is what couples do. We have sex with each other. Yeah, but you're not truly connected. Mm. Yeah, rather like when you go on a night out and you sleep with someone, you're sleeping with that person because you want to sleep with them. Do you yeah. know that's the only reason you two end up back together mm. in bed. But it's not actually like, yeah. And it's just on this this life coach thing that I was what watching. Is this, what is this thing? Is it like a YouTube ad that popped no, it up? Was, no, it was one of the dancers in my Mission music video. It's now what she does. Life coach? Wait, yeah, it's about like spiritual stuff. It was Emma Zia on um, Wait, Instagram. so you're watching like... Oh, well, I followed, I followed her for time and it obviously came up. It's all about relationships and intimacy and... That's what it's, not it's like connecting on, a, on, a, on a, It's like connecting <laughs> on a deeper level. Everything okay? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it's not, is no, it? No, it was more of just oh. like, it came up and I was like, oh, that sounds interesting because, you know, I mean... It is you. I mean, what? Do you, do you reckon oh, you'll ever go. actually fall in love again? Because every time we go on a night out, you do fall in love. Like, you fall in love at least three That's times. That's infatuation. That's but, infatuation. But you say it. But you say it a lot. So What? You say, oh, I'm in love. So are you trying to, like, manifest it? You can it, feel maybe? those lovey feelings. You can feel infatuated. Like, you know, someone's, you know, it can literally be if someone's gorgeous, that can, you know, the chemicals start flooding your brain. The initial 
stages of falling in love is that initial attraction that's the first first step you, you know the attraction that you know infatuation by them as a person whatever because we never actually talked about your breakup and i know we're not going to unless you want to of course no, but actually, but, no, but this is say. interesting because we get a lot of uh, comments actually saying like oh like if theo doesn't open up joe grills him and then theo tries to reverse it and joe's like no we're not talking it's about more, that it's, on. it's more of like the respect of like look that's um you know i was I said I'm not going to talk about it, yeah, and, no, and out of respect, fine. you know, it's yeah, just out of respect. But I was going to say, like, since then, and since obviously being mm. single again, yeah. do you actually think you will fall in love, or do you reckon you're just destined to be alone forever? Well, I mean, maybe. I don't know if I'm the, I, loving uh, the loving type. Well, I tr at, at, at this fucking current moment, the way my person is, is not set up to fall in love. I almost need to grow up, mature. <laughs> yeah, but we're still, we're only no, but, 25. No, but in the sense of figure shit out before, because I don't think I'm at the level yet where I will be, where I can have that fully deep connection that's, yeah. like not ready for... The next, well, I guess the it's next not, It's thing. more not just like, oh, the classic not ready. It's more of like, I don't think I've even got it figured out what ready is yet. Mm. I mean, I, like, my brain probably still, yeah, is like, only, it, think, it thinks that fast, instant <sighs> happiness <laughs> rather than the... Very much in the now. Like this whole thing, like you say, infatuation, where you're yeah. like... I don't know. You get those constant hits of like, oh, I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. But the thing is, it is is like, you know, spin this around a little bit. Can you picture yourself age 70 sitting in an armchair at home alone because you haven't like, you know, like because, you know, friends will die along the way, especially as you get older. <sighs> no, this is the harsh reality of life. And like, if you haven't got, I'm not, and I'm not saying like, oh, just get someone because it's, it's, it's better to have someone than not but you know like you're only 25 there's no need to be ready or even know what ready is but like that's that's the thing to me is is like you you hear people that are in that situation and, and they're like i've got nobody and you just think like i can't imagine like you know getting to that age and being like well yeah like okay i, I, I had a great time when i was young or whatever doing all this but no, I'm just alone. A lot of people uh, do meet their one, well, even their 50s. No, but yeah, and that, that is completely the case. That can Yeah, happen. there is no rules on it. And that's the thing, like, you shouldn't compare yourself to others. Oh, at this point, most people are in a relationship or settle down or this, that and the other. I need to be. Everyone is different and there is no, there are no rules. Um, yeah, just the thing is, at this, at this point in time, I, I can't see... I can't see it happening and I don't want to just settle and go, oh, just because I'm scared to be lonely. I don't want to, do you know what I mean? I, just, I don't want to just go, oh yeah, because, because and I'm scared. Arguably settling is just as bad. Yeah. Yeah. And it, mate, you never know. Next week, someone may walk into your life and be like, oh my God, they're the one. Yeah, I do. I do think like Could happen. this ready business is, is sort of it yeah. when someone approaches you that will make you be like, oh. I always I, think and maybe the they're one, the one. The one you end up like the one. You you never you never go looking for them. It just happens. Yeah. They yeah, just yeah. they find their way into your life somehow. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely like not looking for that right no, now. Neither am I. I don't I. think. You, but you, you I did. I did I've noticed during this whole holiday. Whole holiday. Yeah. There's a lot of couples, and it's like, oh, that would be quite nice. You to want have a cuddle? A, have a cuddle and a couple in mm. the pool. Mate, I thought that when I when I got here yesterday. Mate, everyone I, here is in relationship. I, everyone's couples stood out on stood out on the balcony and like could see like it was clearly like a couples holiday. Even yeah. even when I was at the airport and catching the flight, I was like, couples holiday would be quite yeah. fun. And then there's just not for you, obviously, the, the single losers. <laughs> No, no, no guys, not even. Guys. Not even. Like, yes, we've been smashing the booze, so obviously we're having these deeper chats right now. <laughs> Don't get it twisted, like. How are, we, how are we talking about us in relationships again? How did oh yeah, how are we talking about that? I just I just open you up a little bit. Oh okay. oh yeah yeah that was it yeah yeah that's no, good it's good yeah see yeah sometimes it's good to talk and open. Hey I well, I love it I love it because obviously yeah, a lot of the time it is me going you know not grilling but as in like trying to dig a little deeper mm. on you guys but yeah like right right you know I I'm happy to but talk I mean I probably need it at points I put you know 
what I, what I noticed watching Waffling back times is obviously you see the almost this, the journey, the roller coaster that we go on. Like, you know, you see one of me or you, or you, well, you're pretty constant, or you're pretty level headed. <laughs> yeah, but like, let's be honest, we it's have, about you two, really. No, 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 no. no I'm even. But like, we, we, we sort of have peaks and troughs. So it'd be like, you're, you might be on a downer for like a few weeks while I'm, you know, on an up and, and it changes. And yeah, I see that. And, you know, talking and digging a little deeper to see what, maybe causing that where it, whether it's good or bad is good because right now I, I i have been experiencing a lot of anxiety recently yeah. and it is hell it's mm. the way you don't want to do anything you, you just want to yeah just, everything's very overwhelming like the idea of mm. even linking no we were we were gonna have wayne imagine texting wayne lineker right now yeah, yeah and a, we didn't because you were scared. I was scared. Wait, wait, you're a little bit scared. I was scared, boys. You're terrified of Wayne. I was terrified. Right now, the last thing I want to do is go, Wayne, please come on my podcast. <laughs> it would have been funny. I know, it would have been funny, but we could have all messaged him. He follows you. No. He does follow me. He does follow oh, you. Oh, yeah, and this is the thing, like, when it does come to guests, you know, <laughs> I, I like to do as much as I can for the show, behind the scenes sort of stuff. But that is down to boys, you, boys. it's going to happen, isn't it? We're like, season two, we're going to get guests on. Halfway through, still not a single guest. No, we are. There is going to be. Are. There is going to be at least one guest. Uh, so I was talking to someone the other night, um, and they were like, "I was just talking to a friend, and they were like, uh, Alfie Days is really open on his own podcast and like talks about everything and anything." And I think that he could be a very, very interesting guest, purely yeah. for the fact. You know, you've known him for a few years. He's, he's, he's been OG on a YouTuber. As well. Just had a had a kid. Like, I reckon he could be very open and honest and find a lot about. I think he'd be a fantastic guest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, all, of the, all of those, like, YouTubers as well from, from day would be good. It's, yeah, we say it's that. Just make it, it's almost like we need a, a booker. We just send him a text. Yeah. Just reach out. Yeah, this is the thing. Like, like think about it. Do you need a booker when yeah. YouTube you need, literally you need just to, And this is what I'm saying. Them. Like, me and the old drink don't go. I mean, if you, obviously, you know, I've been very open about my mental health. And it's sort of like, yeah, what alcohol does is not ideal. But in the moment. And in the moment, call it, like, yeah. But it's just like, and where, I guess, going, yeah, like going out and even going out in London, like once a week or whatever, there's a few, there's that period where you're not feeling 100% and the idea of like reaching out. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, it's just not. We're just trying to fool you, turn. Like, I can't wait to get home, get in the gym, yeah. and just smash it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm done now. I'm retiring. And We're not retiring. It's, it's moderation. This isn't is it? the thing, boys. Like, oh, God, here we go. Yo, bro, there's a villa, villa party tonight. Oh, God, this is the guy that runs it. We can, yeah, we can go to it. No, we can't. We saw last night. Are we going to SDK at 10? We're meeting up with Chris MD. Yes, that's going to be fun. But, boys, what, what? I noticed is, um, like, I. I changed a lot over lockdown, I think. Really? I used to, like, really? every every Friday, like, come to Friday, I'd want to be out. And then Saturday, I'd be happy to go out. Mm. I don't, I just don't have the bug for it anymore. That And that's also why I didn't want to come out here for a week. Because the idea of going out every night, just, mm. I, like, it's something that I don't find so appealing anymore. And which is, like, last year, uh, the year before, because we had to have last year off, I, I would have loved it. Mm. Would have pounced on it. Uh, yeah, I mean, prior to coming out to Ibiza, I've been going out a lot in London. I just wasn't excited for this trip, like, at all. Yeah, so well, I was like, it's because we've been smashing it. Yeah, I, I was like, like done. It was the end of summer. We've been smashing it all summer. Yeah. And it was sort of like, oh, God, we know, we know what, what's coming, mm. like, the aftermath. But, but it has been very fun. I've had a really good yeah. time with you, boys. It's been fucking quality. Like, uh-huh. honestly, there's been proper moments where it's like, I look up to the sky and I'm like, this is fucking One just, thing like, I have noticed, sick. though. Like a couple of times actually, we end up at a villa party in the pool yeah. or in the sea, naked. and does everyone get their knobs out? Yeah. Why do all the boys get naked? So uh, well, I think I, everyone's like, let's all go skinny dipping, everyone. But then only like the lads do it. And then it's and then just it's just, ten lads like, in the pool naked, and we're all like, yeah. Oh, how did we? How did, how did we end up here? Yeah. Didn't you two do it last night in the sea? We we just we all just went to the beach, and it was just like four of us, and we everyone they were like skinny dipping. But yeah, so we jump in first, and they were like, oh, no. And then me and Joe, they're like, we're just like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> not to worry. Anyway. But, um, yeah. Yeah, it's bad, isn't it? It's bad, but. not do that. It's what it is. It was quite funny, though. 
Yeah, but you're, you're more than happy to get your... I mean, we've discussed you getting your knob out anywhere. It's very liberating in, like, <laughs> water. It's, you free, know what it's mean? freeing. It's very freeing. No, also, I, I don't care. I went and saw yeah. you play uh, for Garden the other day. Oh, God. It didn't go well, but... Oh, God. He came to first game of the season. And what happened? Oh, they got smashed. What? Played off the park? When he lost 9-3. Fuck. No, they got, they got bullied. Oh, they God. Did. Very bad. I scored a pen, though. Well done. Obviously, I scored. Yes, I was, yeah, nine. that's standard you, but surely, like... You can continue that forever. Take them to the prem. Like, uh, surely, I've got at least another season in us. I'm very much like um, I'm very much almost done with football now. Really? What do you mean? Like, I think I'm going to retire at the end of the year. Shit! Yeah. News flash exclusive. Everyone <laughs> retires from Sunday league football because nah, of injuries. Yeah, I'm just sort of done with football now. I'm ready to play. I just want to do five side charity matches and then smash my Iron Man. Because I noticed mm. you've just done a podcast with Jack Mate. I did. And uh, he like put a little announcement out on Twitter, and he called you a, f- a football club owner. <laughs> what can I say? I do technically own a club. That is sick. That's a factual information, Luke. I, th- I thought it was quite cool. It made me chuckle. Yeah, no, it is good. It is good. But yeah, I'm ready to. I'm ready to. Start. Isn't that your second time on there? First time on Happy Hour. I've done all the podcasts this bloody summer. I've been getting about. What did you talk about? Just my life. I was selling seafood at one point. Did you open up like you do here? Um, no. Oh. No. Everyone, everyone nights out. Like I always get people like trying to open me up on nights out. Why do you reckon that is? I don't know. They're like, go on. They're trying to open me up. I was having a chat with someone in the pool, and they were trying to open me up. I was like, there's nothing for me to open up. Well, so they don't because they, maybe they. Could, I feel uh, I got the impression that they could like sense something. Well, that's uh, the thing I was gonna say. Like usually when someone is like doing that, it's because they're picking up something about your cold. You know, they're covering something up. Distract, you know, there's some something of, of that ilk. But then I'm like, no, there's nothing. There's You're nothing. So yeah. maybe I'm just a weirdo. What? No, I don't know. Everyone's different. End of this they, weird aroma. Everyone's different. End of the day. I think it's where like maybe they've seen a change in you. Do they know you? Like the, yeah. the confidence, like and all that stuff. Maybe yeah. Maybe yeah. Maybe they're like, what's the secret? Maybe they want to know. Maybe they're jealous. <laughs> like you. Maybe. <laughs> I'm fucked, mate. Yeah, you're dead. I'm dying. First two days here in Bifa, I was, obviously I was on death's door and I was going to not come out and eventually, obviously yeah. I came out every day mm-hmm. and the roles have reversed now. I'm fantastic yeah. and you are. So you had that night in, on the bath, in the bath? I did, ha- I came home and had a bath and it was amazing. And was it good? I had a bath, I was in the bath for an hour. Texting? Just talking to my friends, yes. Oh, that was the, oh, we can't say. Okay. But that was cute. It was very and cute. good. It was very and nice. you had that night off, and I was like, "Boys, I'm going to do it. I'm going to smash it." And now we've got to the last night, and I'm like, Pfft. "But even even saying that was a night off, like, it was definitely most." Oh, I suppose yeah, you drank, and but didn't continue going out. Yes. Yeah. So, but yeah, bath instead. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so next up, question in front of Waffle Mafia. Hello, boys. Been talking <laughs> to a girl recently. We're not dating, but I really fancy her. Oh. We've hooked up on many, many occasions and basically act like we're, we're a couple when we're together. But she always ghosts me and ignores my messages. But we'll still go back to acting like my girlfriend the very minute we're together in person. It's beginning to send mixed signals. What should I do? She likes him and is trying to keep a distance because I don't think she wants a boyfriend. Uh, or is it that just she just maybe wants... She enjoys in real life doing it, but she's more of an in, ri- in real life person. She doesn't like the texting. Texting doesn't do it for her. You know, she wants that real touch, that Maybe. real energy. Maybe. M- Maybe, because I obviously, that, I'm, I'm a shit texter, mate. Even if, like, I really like any type of individual, whether it be friends, girls, whatever, like, texting is not it. I'm really into it's my voice n- notes. Yeah, yeah, voice notes, but they're not always convenient because people are doing stuff, you know. There's nothing like real life, but I understand that it's that, it's that thing again of like considering others. You need to be considering. Yeah. I think they need to have a chat and say like, what does she want? Because if she's not looking for a boyfriend, that would explain what's going on. She's okay. trying to keep him just at arm's length, maybe. It's definitely a respect thing, like you say, even about the, the texting. If you're not a good texter, Let know. if you're like, yeah, yeah, I think you just need to be like, oh, by the way, like I'm not being rude. I'm just like, I, I hate texting, which is some, completely Some people would go, look, I don't, I don't want to have, I feel like I have to justify myself. It's like, oh, it's basically, you're always just going to get stuff like this. Yeah, but sometimes Mate. it does come across as rude. No, it does. It does. That's why it, it boils down to it every single time. What? It, boils yeah. down. it just boils down to it every single time. Uh, it's all about being open with your other half yeah. or whoever you're talking to. 
honesty is key. Have you ever ghosted anyone? Yes. Not ghost, not intentionally. Oh, like, I'm not no. replying. It's more of like, oh, just then I will. We you don't remember every single chat that's ongoing, and you might accidentally. Yeah. You know. I had to do it this holiday. What? Like, yeah. How? I just had to not reply to just people. It was, uh, it was, but it was for the for the best. Sometimes you have to let them go. <laughs> yeah, but you can't tell them. What no. was it? Was it a girl? Yeah. No, mm. it wasn't. No. When you well, I did it. I did this thing on WhatsApp where I won't reply to someone for like four or five days, and it's really. But I forget. But I don't open the message. It still has a notification. So eventually, I will scroll down, and I'll be like, "Oh, I haven't replied." So then I'll reply. Do you ever? Do you ever get that sort of thing where like, uh, like text anxiety, where you, where you're like, "Oh, like." You know how easy it is to reply to someone. Mm. You're like, oh, but I don't want to open oh, that message. All the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All Wait, the time. What is that? It's like almost just opening a message. You don't want to. F- it's, it's because it's a commitment. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you're opening. You're, you're Draining. Yeah, yeah. It is, isn't it? What is that all about? It's quite peculiar. That like but, it's such a small. But thing. it's common. Yeah, very. Everyone like, has it. If some normally, if someone goes question, you you don't sit there and go, I might answer. I don't know if I'm. <laughs> yeah. Gonna, mm. But but it's almost like you have you 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 have the control as as whether you're going to entertain it. It's like. Because you can't fully see the message, or I don't know, or whatever. So I, I was like a dick. Like, if someone took five days to reply to me, I'd be like, "You're a bell end." Well, yeah, because there's, no, there's, there's no excuse. There is no excuse. No, no. But it's right there, and like, I could just do it, but there's something holding me back, and I'm just like, "Oh, yeah. I just reply." But the as next well, day, it is, the next day, it, the next like, day. as humans, we're not designed to be able to be contactable by so many people. I guess so. We're, we're designed to have like you know a, like a family. Time. Yeah, like from caveman times, literally. So. The each person, each conversation you're opening and entertaining, that's take that's draining energy, that's taking med- mental compa- capacity from you. It is like you know, we but maybe that is the subconscious thing. Damn. But you can sit there and like prioritize others the whole time. And, yeah. And, and it, it's that balance again, and you're you know you could you know you might end up living for others and not yourself. But I don't know. I always I, eventually I'll like sit in bed. Right, and spend 20 minutes just replying to everyone. Yeah, yeah, because sometimes I've been in those moods where it's like, right, I'm ready. Right, yeah. let's get it done. Yeah, now. let's get it done. Everyone, everything, <laughs> let's go, let's go. Yeah. Um, Nothing worse than like waiting for a reply from someone and they like upload a story or something. Doesn't that wind you up? Oh, I do all the time. Oh, well, shit. Yeah, I'm like, a bad human. Fucking reply. Oh, do you ever get excited when you get texts? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, do, me, do, you remember, do you remember like back in the day if you're ever like, okay, uh, yeah, I'm, back in the day. I'm going back to like even maybe school when you're like, Chaps in the bed, maybe you know, encountering your I get first love by text, and then like you'd, you'd get a text from you're like, Oh, why have we not replied yet? And it, yeah, and like you're constantly on the edge, like, you're giddy. Reply. All right, now, guys, have you ever chopped up your bollocks? What to so cut yourself when you're I shaving have. your balls, right? It's the worst, it is honestly horrendous. Well, we have a little deal from Manscaped, yes. they have delivered their brand new performance package 4.0. Right. Not only does it include the safest razor you'll ever find, right? It's got very, very. They have their technology. Well, it's skin safe technology, which is literally like so enhanced. You are gonna be secure and comfortable. Man, I'll tell you what. Right, the thing about this this lawnmower, four point oh. 4.0. It doesn't just do the garden downstairs. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure if this is gross or not. I use it on like. My chest? Mate, my, I use it on the chest. Because my it's, face. It's the, I don't use it on my face. I use oh, it on my no, chest. No, it's, it's the perfect length. Yeah. So and, good. And also, do you, like, because you just, sometimes you just want to do it well quick, like get your beard done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mate, you don't even have to think about it. Just, yeah. just do it. That's what you want. And as well, it has a light 4000K. Was that? That's what? very bright, isn't it? So that yeah. means you can, an LED spotlight. So when you're wanting to go where the sun don't shine, you're sorted. And the best thing about it? Waterproof. Yeah. It is waterproof. You can shower. do it wherever. Now, within obviously the performance package 4.0, you have things like the crop preserver. Wait, I use that every day. I saw it on the side when you I wrote that. A little, a little basically ball spray. Yeah, so like the odorant, like, you know, but they cover you. <laughs> Anything that you'll need for your toiletries, looking after yourself in the safest, most comfortable way, you've got it. As you can tell, I am literally dying here. <laughs> but, anyways, get it down below 20% off. Is via the, our link in the description, which is um, manscaped.com slash waffling. That is manscaped.com slash waffling, and you get 20% off and free shipping. Beautiful, unreal. Get your hands on it. On with the show. When people slide into your DMs, you click on it, and they have a private account. We were talking about this the other night. What on earth <laughs> are those individuals thinking? <laughs> Do you, because, like, if it's like I'm going to introduce myself, open a conversation. 
but I'm not going to let you know anything about me. You may be a 50-year-old dodgy geezer. I want to inspect who I'm speaking to. Didn't know what it is. I figured what? it out just now in Boom. my head. They want the follow back. Oh. oh. They want the follow back. No, but surely that happens, like, not... Say if it's oh, YouTube is all whatever. Surely that happens just all the time in general. Yeah, just in, in general. general, it is very jarring. It's like you, you like it's like someone literally starting a conversation and they're wearing a bag over their head. Like you can't see who you're talking to. There's nothing wrong with having private accounts. Like I've got a private account, but like, but no, but it, I get it's when you it's when you message someone. It's when they message something about that that involves where it's like right. I should know who I'm talking to here. Yeah, yeah, and you go and to click on their profile and it's just oh I can't. Yeah. What is that? Uh, why, what why is that? Do do Maybe I don't, I don't let's let's start a petition. You send well, ban private accounts. No, no, no. no. <laughs> if you send a message that involves a further message, I don't know what I'm saying. So we're yeah, yeah. we're talking about we're talking about birds like sliding in, being like, oh, birds, boys, anyone. No, it's yeah. not just based. Yeah. No, no, I, no, no. But I mean, like. You know, let's say if it is a girl making a move on you, yeah, then you're going to be more inclined to like want to inspect them naturally. Okay, yeah. Whereas so like if, if it's just yeah. someone being like, "Oh, Joe, I fucking love internet melts. Bring it back." You're like, oh yeah, yeah, it yeah. doesn't matter whether that's oh, yeah, a let's, private. Let's account. say hypothetically, yeah, more romantically, it's like going on an actual blind date, but you're you're blind. <laughs> but you are blind. <laughs> <laughs> but you're blind. Yeah, you, just, you can't see one another. What even is a blind date, by the way? So basically, it's where you wouldn't know who you're meeting on that date. It's like, I set up a date for you. Holy and shit. And you have to go and just do the date. So we're going to do it. We should do that. That's crazy. I, I reckon... People I'll, do that. Yeah, yeah. We, that's, isn't that the series, series idea that we had? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that's mental. Blind date, yeah, people actually do that. It's like, I don't know <laughs> how to source, like, a potential date companion so they go but a friend might well, know our friend essentially went on a blind date the other Who? night Chip well he home. was catfished oh no oh fuck yeah yeah well that's I mean yeah he matched he with up. someone on Tinder yeah met her and was like you're not who I know and there's another thing that he said keeps matching um oh uh transgender females yep and there's, good there's transvestite yeah no <laughs> they're, they're, they're very different I oh. think a transvestite is uh, someone that dresses up. As oh, your, okay, as okay, like my a, bad, sorry. Oh. Yeah, and he was like, they're fit. Would wasn't, you? wasn't he going to say that he was going to go? I mean, I personally wouldn't, but obviously he was saying I would be open to it, and I was like, fair play, brother. Yeah, see, that's good. It's good. He's confident in himself. And that's also, that, 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 that's a, a complicated <laughs> topic, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and we have absolutely no leg to stand on when talking about it. What do you mean, leg to stand have, on? We know nothing about that. No, 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 but you can talk about your, your opinions on, like, would you... We can be educated, we can, you know, learn. No, no, but if you matched a transgender person on Tinder, yeah. right, and then, you know, you were, you were talking, but Bye. then you didn't know, and then they told you, they were like, I'm, I'm trans, you know, you're... Oh, it's okay if you're like, oh no, sorry, like I don't. Just what want some to. people are, have. What yeah. like some mm. people are into it, some people are not. People have different preferences on That's all true. different kinds of human beings. Yeah, there we go. One thing I've uh, I've been quite I've actually been quite jealous of you this holiday, Joe. I know you get jealous of me a lot, but this is one jealous thing I am is his ability to speak Spanish. Oh yeah, jarring, jarring, porque. Yeah, very like it's very good and it's, handy. It's, it's fun. Spanish. It's obviously I spent five years having private lessons. Con mi profesor de Argentina, and uh, basically, like, everyone it's, loves it. Yeah, it's like it's sick to come out here and be able to just like speak because obviously at first they laugh, going "Ha, hey, English person trying to speak Spanish," and then obviously I back it up with like actually conversing, yeah, and they're and like, they respect you, don't they? which is they don't expect it, and it's yeah, yeah it's cool though because I don't really get to practice it at home. So um, yeah, coming out here and just doing it, and obviously I get better each time because it's it's all subconscious. Like once you. You don't realise how much you're learning just from conversing, yeah. just from chatting to someone. They're saying little words and little things that you're picking up on. And, yeah, it's good. That's so why the best place to learn a language is by staying in that Yeah, by like just it. being here and just chatting. Weren't just you going to move to Madrid? Move to Madrid? I swear, you swear you almost did. No, you, oh, I thought, well, I probably entertained that idea back in the day. You're I was like, like going to get a flat to... in Madrid for three months? Yeah, just go somewhere like that. Like, I mean, I'd still love to do something like that. Really? Uh, to go, yeah, to go somewhere Hispanic and just... Hablar español todo el tiempo, por supuesto. Uh, yeah, there are, there have, we have met quite a lot of Spanish-speaking Brits sí. out here. Yeah, because a lot of them work here, so they have like Spanish parents, yeah. way Spanish parent, 
he have like a it's so jokes because he'll have like a well I don't know northern accent you'll be yeah. like you you know don't so yeah and then they'll come out with like the perfect Spanish and it's like mm. but it's sick and I think it should be more common you know that we we learn languages because it is it's it's a good skill and uh, and because we are English yeah we're ignorant as oh, far. we mate. just we just assume everyone's yeah. going to be able to understand our switch you know you go some places that's not the case think think of when you left your phone in the taxi in LA or yeah, Miami. Yeah, in Miami. And I had to, the taxi driver only spoke Spanish and I had to converse with him and he only spoke proper, like, colloquial Spanish. So he wasn't, like, very clearly spoken. Yeah. And I had to really get, like, get it across. But where I was speaking, he thought I'd understand everything because my accent isn't like, oh, yeah. la, que, tal, como, es, that's... It's like, he was speaking like he thought I would understand everything and it yeah. was, like, trying to break down, like, yeah. But that, then, that, that was life-saving. That was literally, like... So I've so much on my that, phone and gone. Yeah, I was I'd been fucked. So yeah, big up languages. That's the, really. one, that's the one thing I wish I could do is speak another language. Yeah. I do we have any Spanish speaking wafflers? Oh, sure. Let us know in the comments. Or any language. Or yeah, or any language, obviously. And say it say something, comment something in your language. Yeah. Anything you'd love. Actually, what I love being a waffler. Could you type that in your language in the comments? J'adore. J'adore. Waffler. Isn't that? Je suis oh. très désolé. Whoa. Comme c'est comme ça? Je suis anglais. Parlez-vous <laughs> anglais? Fallo portugais. Actually, speaking, oh, portugais. I, speaking of a uh, language. Yeah, go on. This is a lie. I don't know why I just thought of this. I was speaking to someone that we know uh, who lived in China yeah. for a while. He said, like, Mandarin is the hardest language yeah. ever. Yeah. So basically, they have, like, old Mandarin, like the traditional one, but the government have created like a simplified version. Right. But they've removed certain words from it, like uh, protest and like Oh my God, what? So that they could fuck off. So basically, like uh, these like younger generations are growing up learning the simplified version, but like- They'll never learn they'll, the word protest. Yeah, yeah. Like that word just simply doesn't exist. So like in theory, a protest doesn't exist because the, the, the word doesn't exist. What? How fucked is that? That's crazy. That is nuts. How can you just remove a word? Well, it still exists. <laughs> exists. Never like that. It, it's not. It would be like imagine you just never learned the word Shirt. there. Like it, you, it doesn't exist. It's not. It's not in the dictionary. That is mental. And that's the thing. Like how much? So though, does that government? Does do those people know that they've been sort of like snaked or screwed over there by snaked the government? By the government. Are they aware of that? Are there things that we think, like, we're sure. just blatantly... Are, is there maybe some far away country going, ha ha, look at those stupid UK people don't that don't realise about this, that, this, that, that uh, our government doesn't tell us? But surely this just absolutely makes no sense because they have parents who know the word protest. So we go, oi, geezer, protest. Yeah. Well, look, I didn't put the system in place, so I don't really know how they're planning. You need to have words. <laughs> <not even laughs> it. But I just, I found it literally mental when he, because he worked in a school. So, like, he was um, teaching. Interesting. It actually sounded really cool to live there. Firstly, right, um, they, like, love, like, the, the parents, obviously, it, he was working in, like, a school where you have to pay. So, like, Private the, school. Yeah, probably. So the parents loved the fact that it was like an English person teaching their children English. So like he'd have to go out and wave at them every morning because like, and he'd get, he said he was basically, he was literally a teaching assistant. Yeah. But he'd just like do the English part. That's quite cool. He said he was earning like the same amount as the principal simply because he was like English. What? Yeah, because it like brought such a good reputation to the school. Really? They'd get more like... More students going there. That's why he'd have to go out and wave at the parents because he was like, "Look, I'm the English guy teaching everyone English." It's wow. Wait, so is there like credibility through just being an Englishman? Sure. Yeah. It, he said like um, he went and got his hair cut, obviously multiple times. But like he was talking about this time where like they were like all crowded around him because they were like so happy to be like cutting the, the, the like the English guy's hair. Wow. There were people taking pictures of him outside <sighs> as he's sitting there like having his hair cut. But he obviously knows Mandarin as well. Well, I, he might have learned some of the simplified version. No, like, mate, do you know how complicated that language is? No. I'm just, I'm just thinking, like, if you're teaching English at a school. Yeah, no, he, no, actually, he actually said, like, no, I can't speak it. It's fucking hard. Yeah. No, he, he Mandarin. It, he just, it's not just words. It's like uh, t 
tones. Oh my god, no way. Yeah. It it's like only, you could say the same word at a different tone, it would like mean oh. a different thing. Well it's like it's like I guess so in Spanish you have the accents. So Malaga so that word has an A. Uh, the first A has an accent, so it's Malaga rather than Malaga. Oh, if, yeah, if, well, the like accent, pronunciation. if the accent was on the end A, mm. you'd be so I guess it's sort of that sort of thing. But you know, tomato, tomato, and that. Um, lastly, so uh, one of the uh, girls last night, a geezer came up to her and said, "Can I have a photo with you? Because you're because just literally because he fancied her. That was it. Like a selfie. Yeah. So it's in like he wanted a photo because he was like, I've never seen anyone so beautiful. Oh my god. I was saying, like, have any quite... of you ever had that? Because I found that quite endearing, but she found it quite creepy. I, you could perceive it as creepy, but it's quite like, cute. He's like, you're literally time. stunning. But then he's also just taking a photo of her because... He's like, yeah, can I just get a photo her. with you? As like, mm -hmm. he wasn't even trying to pursue or nothing like that. It was just, and she was like, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, I didn't know what to make of it. I was like... We also was, had our fair share of fucking off to people. What? On nights out. Yeah, people Mal told us to fuck off. Malfoy almost got in a fight, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, well, they He yeah. just wanted to drop that in. No, no, okay, so Theo basically, you <laughs> nearly got into a fight with these two lads. Basically, they, they, they asked for a photo from... Not to me, it was for you. Oh, yeah, so yeah, they asked me for and a photo, but not in like a very, like, I guess, respectful way. It was like, you know, you're a dickhead, or this, like, YouTube twat or whatever. And just, like, just started putting the phone in my face. And obviously, as anyone would, you're like, Murph. Like, I'm not going to do a photo of you if you're, you're going to be like that. Oh, like so then they just start chatting shit and just like even more. And I'm just like, oh, I'm going to walk I off. I saw my friend in trouble. Yeah. And then, well, obviously I just came over to you boys and then boom, they started doing all this, uh, like, you know, carrying on with their chatting shit. And Theo was like, Joe, mate, you're going to have to hold me back. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, no, you actually said you're going to have to fucking, don't let me, don't let me. And I see Theo, he's bubbling. He's going to go off. And he's just like, you fucking this, that and the other. Just fuck off. You, you know, he went off with them and boom, they were like, stand up then. Stand up and they were going to scrap. And I was like, boys, boys, boys. But then also I was like, you guys love yeah, it. Yeah, you like, guys yeah, you were like, you actually love this. Yeah, they just, it was like, wanted a reaction. I it, guess, was I quite, don't know. it was quite funny looking back. But yeah, no, it was, it was good. And it was, well, it wasn't good. It was just like fucking hell. Malfoy was about to stick it on some like But 99% like, of the people we've met out here have been amazing. Oh well, yeah, have been safe. Like, everyone's here for good vibes. Like mostly yeah. like they're here for a good time. No one's called me the other guy. Not the other guy. Well, we did have an email, didn't we? And this was, I actually got offended You're by not, this. I was oh, wait, livid. But before you read it out, right, from now on, right, and I swear to God, if anyone mate. sends hate mail to this email address, whether it's about Weller, Malfoy, me, I'm just going to put your email address on the Twitter account and the Instagram account. Oh, yeah. Whoa, that leak. is a threat for and I'll, and I'll put the email up as well. Yeah, we're Ooh. just going to leak it because Exposed. this is a place of good vibes where we all support one another. Anyways, so the tagline is, we love you, Luke. So obviously I clicked it. And then he has a look and it goes, psych, <laughs> fucking hate you, Luke. I know you're reading this. Do us a favour and say something in the next poll. <laughs> but forgot you were even there for the last one. Can't lie. You said fuck all. How you can are you hate me then if I'm not saying anything? You are scamming a living out of Joe and Theo. I think you need to reevaluate your life choices and your personality on waffling. Maybe open up a bit more like the other boys. This is constructive criticism. Oh, yeah. If this doesn't <laughs> go on the pod, you are backing away from a real issue. Fuck, he's from Moldova. Oh, well, it's he, just he, such an unnecessary um, attack. Yeah, but, basically, look, look, I'll, and he conned I'll, you. No, no, I'll say, uh, you're a cunt. No, whoa, 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 well, we can say that. It's constructive. Okay, look, 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 let me say this. What it is, what it is, I think, trying to see it from his point of view, obviously, we do go into detail about certain things. We don't necessarily be like, right, Luke, you open up about this, that, and the other. We don't, we, like, we, for, so, for whatever reason, I guess we don't, and I guess in a not a very nice way, that's the message that you're sort of trying to get across. But what are your thoughts on that concept that we haven't gone right, Luke? Let's talk so about your struggles. I've, do do you, always, do you ever cry? I've <laughs> always struggles? also said that, that this show is still like, it's you two boys. Do you know what I mean? I know that. Not now, I'm, brother. Not now, not ever. This is free, we're free hosts. We are free hosts. 33%. So, so what, just, would you feel like vulnerable talking about anything deeper? No, but like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get like Bruce analysis on this. No, no, I don't like. I would literally be fine, but I, I still, I'm still at that point where I'm like, uh, di you know, it's still like, I am still the other guy. Do you know what I mean? Where, the where it's other. like, we well, think no one cares about what not, your I, life is. Not, not even, but you know, you sort of, um, I, it's not like know your place. It's just, it's just very much like it's still like 
you two are I like just, you're I've, you're the content. Listen that to makes me, sense. laddie. If you, if you two went right, and this, you know, I'm not playing a little violin here, but like people aren't going to turn off, and I understand. I'd be the same, mate. I've spoken to multiple people that say you are the favorite. Yeah, like, you I'm are. Like, mate. If any one of us went, it wouldn't be the show. No, and and yeah, that that is true. I, I agree with you that. You know, but it's true. I mean, I, to an extent, I think you got to value yourself more. We may be the content, but if there are, you know, if there is anything you'd like to know, and that maybe that because I understand that, but the same time maybe that this you don't want to talk like we would about on certain matters. No, and and I, I promise you, it's not even that. I mean, if there are there are certain things that, uh, you know, for example, one day I might need a job. Right. Yeah. Whereas you two boys, uh, oh no, I'm going to need a job at some point. Or Flynn's going to the moon. We, you know. But but there's um. No, I don't, like I'd speak about anything. But don't shoot yourself in the foot later down the line. Yeah, no, you, yeah, you do. You do have to be careful with what you put online. Yeah. I think. Yes, and you've it obviously is, we've we've learned the hard. We way. have learned. Yeah. I've done a lot of dodgy stuff. But listen, if there's anything you guys want to know, remember ask Joe Theo at gmail.com. Pleasant stuff only. Otherwise, your email will get put on Twitter. Um, <laughs> other than that, we'll keep you anonymous. So just be open, be I, comfortable, and be honest. I hope. I, I a lot of people definitely tuned into this episode to get all the juicy gossip from my beefer, and we just. Made we everyone just not sad. Talked about it. We can't really. Wait, what, what? What juicy gossip? Yeah, I mean, okay, we went out, we went out, we went out, we went out. Mm. Yeah, got kicked out of the hotel, but did tell you about that. Yeah, it's, yeah, I think when we when we reco- we need to recover. It is what it is. Anyways, you lot, we're gonna roll it there. So not the opposite of roll Wrap it. Wrap it. Um, we'll recover. We'll come back stronger. And next uh, next time, the energy will be up, and we're gonna have it large. But for now, enjoy yourself. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.